Hey guys, well before I show you what I've been doing with my uh, face masks, I'll just show you <laughs> all the moulds that I made. Um, I had a comment saying I looked at, I made it look pretty easy to cast the mould. Well, <clears throat> let me say I spent most of the, yesterday getting it right because <clears throat> I was a bit impatient. I wanted to get it done. I wanted to get it done quick. And as a result, um, they didn't. The first mo lot of moulds didn't turn out. So these these two and these two were created first. Um, as you can see, the detail isn't very clear. There's lots of bubbles in it, and in here it's not like you don't see the lines. So that was like the right wing, and this is the left wing, and then I made it and cracked it. And by that stage, I was getting um, pretty angry because I thought to myself, "Why didn't you just do it properly the first time?" So that's why I'm saying it's very important to, if you're not in the mood to cask, don't do it. Um, prepared to take some time and you'll get good results. So as you can see from the second casting, much better. Much better detail. So that's the left and right wing. Um, so that's the result as you can see, much better. Much better definition. Um, and what I just do is just come back with a fine a Stanley knife just to carve the all the wings back in. Oh, sorry, all the feathers back in. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy with how they turned out. But that's just the thing. Do it right the first time, and you don't have to muck around using lots of plaster like I did yesterday. So that's that. Okay, moving on to the masks. So now for the masks. What I did yesterday was just went and bought a bunch of cheap boards. They're just. Um, basically ply board with I already have the holes in the back for hanging on the back and I've just painted them black but I've left it so you can see the grain from the wood which looks quite nice and um, I was uh, at the supermarket the other day and I just had this brainwave to um, grab some pantyhose <laughs> laugh I hear you say pantyhose what would I want pantyhose for well it's not what you think um, I was thinking about head wraps and stuff for my little um, masks. I thought, oh, how cool would that be to have like head wraps and things like that? So that's what I did. I uh, went and bought a box of pantyhose. Well, they're not pantyhose. They, well, they're the same fabric, but they come up to about just under the knee. So I don't know what you call them. I don't know what women call them, but um, I bought them. And... Um, I've just been experimenting with designs and ha how to have them. And I came up with this one for the first mask, which I thought looks really cool. Um, so I just twisted it around and I thought that would look really good on there. Um, so that's that one. And moving right along, I'll show you what I did with the second one. So the second one, this one, I'm, I'm about to repaint it because I'm not too happy with, like it's got a bit of gold coming through and I'm not too happy with the colour as, as a whole, so I'm going to recoat it. But, I was playing around, like I said. It's the best way to do things. It's just experiment. Um, I actually spray painted this to get, like, this brown type colour. Um, I know you can buy different colour pantyhose stuff but I just wanted to spray paint it to see what effect I could get so I was thinking about playing around with this just having all different like styles and I thought this style looked quite good for this mask um, sort of looks um, Asian sort of Japanese style type thing I thought that could fit under there. Oops. Just got to work it around the design and get it to get it to sit right. But I thought, how cool does that look with the colour and play around 
to get it exactly right but if I mount them on these boards um, so as you can see it really like takes on its own character when you have these little head wraps on them uh, it gives them a personality and um, I kind of like it so I was thinking I can do different head wraps for different ones um, some I'll leave without and um, yeah I thought I would just experiment and have fun with that so I just wanted to show you what I was doing and I'll show you a couple of other masks that I've uh, been working on so I've carved like lots of wrinkles in this one um, and I'm gonna call them the I'm gonna call it the ancient one because it sort of has that appearance of being ancient and old and once I paint it and put some shading on it and that I think it's gonna look really good so yeah this is the ancient one um, and another one I started I was just working on a different mouth shape um, which I like I like I like them both somehow um, so I'm going to have different face expressions on all, on all of them um, but I like that old look how they look old and wise and that sort of thing so that's that but as well I thought I'm going to use my wings so for example on some I could do this um, I'll just put the camera down for a moment and sit like that of course with my wings they'll be better because they're not so big and bulky as, as these ones but you'll get you just get the idea of what I, what I was hoping what I'm aiming for um, when I get it when I get them sitting right Yeah, I was thinking of having like wings behind the head, um, you know, different angles, which I thought looked excellent, and have them even having some, having some a bit higher, one up slightly and one down, sort of. Yeah, you get the idea. Anyway. So that's why I'm making the wings as well, to put on these little things. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. And um, stay tuned to more masks. And I'm going to start working on the paintings soon because I've got my exhibition coming up and I've got to get some work done. All right. Have a great day, guys. Later. My